high. One of the things I do here is to fix cars equals. And one of the hardest to fix is the ones used in Opel vehicles. So let's learn how to fix them. For this kind of computer, I have the connections in wires array. So before going to look for the other things, if I don't have water marks and smoke spots, I will check the wires one by one, how is the connection doing, and if the wire is not broken. When I fix an EQ, I depend from my knowledge and my equipment to fix it. But when I am dealing with Opel Ecos, I depend more from repairing skills and my tools. In this case, I have to deal with a very small soldering point. So I need a soldering station and a sharp uh, tip for my soldering iron. My tip is 0.8T kind. It's a very sharp one and it's special for this kind of fixing. And also, in Opel Ecos, I always found the problem with the connections in the main connector. And the only way to deal with it and to do the right testing is using this kind of, of tool. I have to hook every wire and pull it a little to see if it is broken. If it is broken, it will move. Then I have to resolder the wire. I recommend to use a tool like this and do not use something like that. I will tell you why and we will see it. In, we will watch it in the video in a little while. When I have the wire and I clamp it with this. If I pull it, I will apply force. Plus, I'm applying two kinds of forces. One, the pressure, I'm putting to the wire to hold it. And second, the pulling force to pull it up. With this other one, I just hook it. If the wire is already broke, it will move itself. So I am not breaking it, I'm just 
move it from the base it will release from the part that is broken and we will watch that in the video in a little while so if you are expecting to start fixing Opel Ecos try to get something like that anybody of you will say Bob this is uh, more comfortable to get in and to do the test I'm totally sure about it and I agree with you and this is more comfortable to me but it's unsafe because I can make a damage myself that it wasn't there so we will learn with this one uh, now let's take a look to this kind of ecos and what I'm talking about to look for a broken wire on it This is another unit, it's different than the one you just uh, watched testing the wires here. And I want to talk about this. Uh, it belongs to another Opel car, it's a different model, different unit. And I want to tell you about it. Nine from each ten equals I get is already open. And at least seven of them have been opened by the mechanic and the mechanic did it to make an inspection okay i have a lot of questions that i always wonder myself uh, this kind of a uh, unit doesn't have any screw to tight or to calibrate or to adjust and why do they open it uh, i don't know why um, if you want to laugh about two from every 10 electronic control units I get is full of penetrant oil and I don't know, somebody needs to break that uh, taboo that if you put penetrant oil the eco will work it's not a mechanic thing that you will need to lubricate and pay attention to it in these kind of uh, situations always with the penetrant oil here in the rear part there are some uh, rubber seals for the connectors and that will let the water to enter in the future uh, like this is common in this kind of uh, ecos the mechanic put a lot of glue in one side and left the other side totally open for the water to be welcome inside the telling is not uh, ending there, it's just uh, starting. Do you see this beautiful dot here? Okay, this chip has been striked by the mechanic. Or somebody who was trying to open the eco, uh, putting a, a screwdriver and pulling the tap out. So I already got some extra damage here. I don't know if it's a permanent uh, damage, uh, after I do what I have to do with it, we have to test it in a car to see if it is okay. Why do I use these covers? Because everything is so small and have to be so close that it's very easy to me to punch one of them and make a damage with my tools. So that's the reason why I use these kind of covers. Also because these chips, they, are, they don't have the plastic cover and they are sensitive to UV light. Pay attention, how do I set up my workshop? And sometimes I have to wait a little bit until it's dark enough to work. 
you see a lot of light here but uh, it's because the camera is sensitive but in real life now it's a little bit dark watch the next pictures now back to it do you remember guys what i told you about the wires right here this is a transistor and this little guy here pointing to the left is a broken wire it should be in this position straight up but it's twisted because it's broken there so right here i have a transistor i don't know if it is a bad transistor if it got a short circuit and broke the base or gate uh, wire i have to check which, which kind of transistor is it or if i got a screwdriver trying to pull the tap out and touch the transistor so i will see it in the next part of the fixing maybe it will not be in the video let's see if i can add it I'm rushing out of time, I just wanted to talk about to add some more information about how to fix Opel cars electronic control units.